Rihanna. Hello. Welcome back to KISS. Thank you. I want to say, brap, brap, you're in the building. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. How are you doing? Really good, actually. Uh, I've been really busy, but for, for great cause, you know. Um, the results are paying off. You know, Only Girl is the first single of the new album, and it's doing really well. And we have a brand new album coming out, so there's a lot of work happening right now. Listen, we got to talk further about the album, but first, I'm going to mention your hair, girl. <laughs> Check out your hair. Thank you. It's fiery. Yeah, it's loud. <laughs> How does it make you feel? I mean, do you feel different? Do you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, my hair? It's really liberating. I mean, yeah. it, it really is because it's something so bold and it, it, it really, you have to be fearless to, to do something like this. <laughs> you certainly are fearless. So is this kind of like a new Rihanna? With a new look? Um, it's definitely a new look. And I would say Rihanna, I, I, I just keep evolving, you know? I keep growing. I want to keep getting better. So hopefully every time it's different, but for the better. So before we talk about the new album, we have to talk about Love the Way You Lie. Now, when you recorded that hook, did you have any idea that the single was going to be so big? Absolutely not. Like, I, I knew it was going to be a, a good song because I loved it and that's why I, I did it. But I didn't know that it would have been such an instant hit and become so big all over the world like that. It really is an epic record, and I didn't see that at first. But, I mean, people really love that song. It's really the craziest thing to see, like, two-year-old singing it. Now, you're tied with Madonna, Mariah, Beyonce, and Lady Gaga for most number ones on the pop and dance Airplay charts. Wow. How does that make you feel? I mean, you're young, you know what I mean, honey? How does it make you feel? I mean, it really is surreal to think about. I mean, it's not something you think about every day. You just go out there and you do your job. But at the end of the day, when, when stats come back like that years later, you just think, wow. It, it just throws you for a loop. It makes you think about all the things you've done in the past five years. Have you had a chance to hang out with any of them big names? Um, yeah, actually, I've, I've hung out with, um, well, Madonna, we had, I did a dinner with her one time, her Gucci event, then she came to my Gucci event, Beyonce, of course, because I have that relationship with Jay-Z, uh, I've met Lady Gaga a couple times, yeah. Do you get starstruck? You must do a little bit, right? Definitely, bit. definitely, but now I, I just... It's really just strange to be in a room full of celebrities and just, you just forget that you're one of them. Sometimes you just look around like, wow, I can't believe I'm here. I'm sure they're looking at you though and just your achievements are <laughs> immense, really they are. So let's talk about Loud. Yeah. Yeah. We are loving Only Girl at Kiss. <laughs> You got me dancing around, I'm messing my hair <laughs> up, I got my sweat on in the studio. <laughs> it's a wicked tune. Thank you so much. Damn. Yes, um, Only Girl in the World is just, it's a great song. I mean, you can't sit still to that song, and it's, every girl wants to sing that, you know, because every girl wants to feel like the only girl in the world, you know, as unrealistic as that is, that's how they want their men to make them feel. Okay, so there's been a lot of talk online about tracks that might be on the album as well. Mm -hmm. So can we clear up some rumours? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we should. So Nicki Minaj features on a track called Raining Men. Yeah. Hey. It's a fun song. It's like an up, upbeat kind of song, but it, I mean, the title just speaks for itself. And Nicki, of course, with her crazy raps and melodies, she's nuts. And, of course, she does her thing on it. It's totally Nicki. There's a track that samples Avril Lavigne. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Which is really, that's one of my favorite songs, too. It's called Drink to That. And, I mean, the sample is just perfect for the song, but the song is just, it's going to be played every Friday night for sure. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. She's got a beautiful voice as well. Yeah. And this one is my favorite. Uh, Rihanna, there's a track called S&M. <laughs> S&M is actually, the title is, is just the title, but the song is really actually one of the most fun records on the album. It's one of the loudest. It's really in your face. And again, Stargate did that one, but 
Esther Dean wrote, wrote that one, and shh, they're my favorite combination right now, Esther Dean and Stargate. So if you could say, kind of like, sum it up, something definitive about the album, I mean, you kind of just said it there, but mm -hmm. what would you say? What can we expect from the album? Um, you could definitely, overall, I would say the album is the most true Rihanna album in terms of the sound and the energy and the look, the vibe of it, the lyrics, the the West Indian twang in there. Everything about it is just tailored to me and nobody else could have done any of those songs, which is why I love it because you hear it and you get it and you I love it. So now let's talk a little bit about the fact that you've been doing some acting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is obviously, as far as I know, a, a new thing for you. So yeah. how's the acting career going? It's really good, actually. I was really nervous, like, ugh, I was so nervous because I didn't know. And then I was going on set with all these actors who have been doing this for a long time. And then ugh, here I am, little old singer, Rihanna, trying to be an actress and never been in a film before. But I mean, they re Peter Berg is an excellent director, and the other actors, they're really good. And I just, it's a really good energy on set, and I've been able to focus and really do a good job at, at it. And I, I enjoy it. It's something that I want to do more of, mm. um, so I could just keep growing in that that industry. I think we want to see you in future films. And I mean, how about something like I'm just gonna put this out here, right? How about <laughs> Superwoman, Rihanna? Hell no. No. What? I want to do something more like a comedy. Yeah? Yeah. What about Catwoman? Mm-mm. I'm just veering towards making you wear PVC. It's very wrong. But I know my <laughs> listeners would love it. Um, what did you say? You want to do a comedy? Mm-hmm. How about something like The Hangover for girls? Yeah. Yeah. That's actually a great so idea. <laughs> um, Rihanna, listen, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. I, I can't believe I'm sitting here with you now. Thank you for just making my Friday. No problem. Um, and, and, yeah, thanks so much. <laughs>